the amazing thing about investing is that a know-nothing investor who just index, spends less than they earn, et cetera, will end up winning the race. And there's a reason why the index works. So if you look at the S&P, right? So S&P has 500 stocks, 500 companies. When you look at the individual names of these companies, they're very successful. I mean, that's how they got on that list. They make some changes to the index, like a couple of companies might go in a year and a couple come in, but for the most part, it stays static, right? So what happens is that the index is too dumb to know that it owns Apple. It's too dumb to sell Apple. It's too dumb to sell Microsoft. It's too dumb to do anything. And so what ends up happening, if you think about the 4% situation is, there's a lot of companies in the S&P that will not do well. But that, those don't matter because the thing is, it's got some that will do exceptionally well. It has NVIDIA in there, right? It's gonna have the full run of, of NVIDIA, which nobody else is gonna have. Everyone else will join that bandwagon after it's a trillion dollar market cap. But it was in there in the S&P at 20 billion or 10 billion, right? And so it's just had that entire run in the index. So the index is very powerful because basically you have ownership of some of the best businesses in the planet. And they're running and they're doing their thing and you don't have to think about it. And it's tax efficient and everything. So, like I said, there's three variables, right? So one variable that you, you just put that away, the, the other variable is you know spending less than you earn, you have more control over that. And the runway, start as early as you can, you know, so.